Hi oh, Jürgen, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes. Yeah, thanks Jürgen. Just your thoughts on how Villa lined up today and how Villa played on, on the opposition report. I just, your, your take on Villa today for me, please. <laughs> Sorry. What? How did Villa do today? He, how did Villa yeah. do? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Did you call your problem? Not... You're right. Oh. So, <sighs> but what can I say? Villa, Villa had... Um, I think we were the better team, so um, for 75 minutes for sure, and opened up the, the game in the last in the last um, 15 minutes because we we lost rhythm a little bit. Villa changed offensively, and all of a sudden there were some situations, half chances, situations uh, were a bit tricky. Um, but for 75 minutes we were the clear better side. So I don't know exactly what that says about Villa uh, now because I'm not so much in that. Uh, I've, my job was today to make sure that we um, cause Villa a lot of problems. Um, and I think we did that over 75 minutes uh, with the way we played. We could have been better in, in 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 the last in the last around the last pass. Our decision making there could have been better. Um, one or two bodies more in the box in one or two moments would have been helpful. But that's it. We go to Carl Markham uh, for the next couple of questions, and then that will be that without any more hands. Carl. Hi, Jürgen. Yep. Stephen's tactics made it difficult for you. Did, you. did you say anything to him at the end? Do you have any words for him at the end? No, he said congratulations and I said thank you. <laughs> so what we say, we won, we won the game and it, it's not, not about um, uh, that we really um, have to talk a lot. That, that nothing will, be, will come between him and me. So, But around the games, we are both pretty focused. So that's the, that's the idea of this game, that you that when you can be the best friend with somebody um, and when you play against each other, you want to beat him anyway. So I um, had the situation with David Wagner, for example, in the past. And, um, the whole fuss around, it was absolutely right. And it, But it's, there's one person for, for him, it's not so easy, and that's Stevie. But then he is the Liverpool legend. We cannot change that now. and We shouldn't try to, but um, they did really well. They obviously fought really hard for a result here today. Um, so pushed by Stevie. So it's all fine. And I like as well that we at the end got the three points anyway. Okay. And Carl, just before you ask your next question, this will be the last press conference, last question of the press conference. We have no other hands up. Carl, you look, you look disappointed just, about it. Well, it's just a remarkable. Who cares? wants to ask questions? Go on. Yes, Mark. Carl. Um, you, you seem to spend a lot of the match in discussion with, with the fourth official. Are you not happy with some of the no, decisions? No, not discussions, not discussions, talks. I have to say it was an incredible performance um, of the fourth official. I, I felt really well. And it's not about, he cannot make any decisions. So it's not that he will whistle or whatever or stuff like this. He helps the ref from time to time, of course, when it's, when it's directly in front of our feet. So he was good in that as well. But we had conversations, no arguments. Uh, we've got Jonathan Northcroft followed by. Yeah, Paul you Jones. found somebody. I did. Yes, it's amazing. Thank you. Yes, yes. Jonathan, you don't have to, Jonathan. He does. Yes, go on, John. Okay, no, Jonathan's not turned on. Paul Joyce, we can we can't see it, but we don't need to. If you want to turn your. Uh... There we go. Yes, Paul, we can see it. Um, Jürgen, um, Jordan Henderson's um, input in attacking areas. Especially down the right, linking with Trent and Mo, has increased more and more in recent weeks. Um, he was involved in the goal today and getting the penalty. Is that something that you've worked on? Are you asking him to do anything? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Is that, is no, that no, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, thank you. No, you saw it, of course. Uh, yeah, we worked on it. Not only on the right side, we have similar we, we, we have similar things on the left side. I thought there were plenty of of, of top situations. Just the, the the formation is slightly different on the left side. Um, Thiago is not as as uh, as high in the, in the formation, so it's more um, um, with um, Sadio and Robo. But yes, George's position on that side is pretty flexible. Um, um, we just have to make sure that one of the three is. Thinks about protecting as well, but as long as we keep the ball, it's all fine. Yes, his role changed slightly. True. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Jonathan, and then I think we're finishing with Dave, and that's us. John. Hi, Jurgen. Um, Hi. Think about most penalty. Uh, I mean, sometimes when people are looking at the the number of goals that players score, they say penalties don't count as much as other goals, but can you, can you sort of convey how important uh, his penalties are and how just oh. that, that coolness, the, the technique to score the way he regularly does in those situations? 
Oh, I, I tell you what, in a moment when you get a penalty, and I, I hate when people start celebrating in a moment because the, the, there's still a, a, a shot and a possible goalkeeper safe in between. Um, and I'm really happy when, really, really happy and think it's exactly the same difficulty and importance like each other goal. There are goals during a season which are much more easy than a penalty when you when you tap it in from two yards, a square ball or whatever. Um, so, no, it's... Um, if somebody says they don't count the same, I don't understand it. I think they count exactly the same and should always. Fantastic. Last question, Dave Maddock, and then we're done. Uh, Jürgen, hi. Hi. Um, a, a couple of weeks ago, you, you said that your side could defend better and you, you noticed some situations where, where they weren't, where you could improve. The last two games, it's been 1-0. No shots on target today from Villa. And, and I noticed that there was a lot of real high-intensity defending later on in the game, higher up the pitch. So is, is that something that, that maybe you've been working on the last few weeks? But it's difficult for us. It's difficult for us to really work on it because our problem is that we obviously um, play all the time. So, but yes, we, we we in the moments when a few moments when we have time, that's of course something we have to be completely committed as a squad to defending. So that's that's our idea. Um, as long as I mean, if this squad, this team, whatever, defends on highest level. Then obviously they have a chance to score a goal. If we don't do that, we need to score two, three, four, or whatever, and that makes no sense because that's not always possible. Um, and yes, that's something we absolutely worked on. And it's about it's about balance. It's about um, that offensively and defensively that you, you don't get too exposed, but you are. Ex it's important that you are exposed because you need that you need the the, the the spaces to to create space for other players and all these kind of things. So there's so many things you have to think about. Um, but the most important thing is that you are well protected. And um, because then you feel really free for offensive um, things. And I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with that. The last 15 minutes, I'm not happy with, of course, how could I? Because we opened really the door for the game. But the 75 before, I, I found really they were absolutely outstanding. And so I'm really happy about the performance. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank if you. If you'd like to get the hands up now, bye -bye. Uh, when Tommy comes in with uh, with Stephen, then um, that will probably help him out. So if you want to, Stephen.